Pisces, welcome to your yearly 2021 Sidereal Astrology Forecast. All right, so a lot going on this year. We're going to take a look at the important areas for you, which ones will be activated, and how to work with these areas in constructive ways. So, of course, we are using a different form of astrology here called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to this form of astrology, then definitely check out the uh, comment section down below. There's a list of the true sidereal sun sign dates. You want to make sure you're watching this for your true sidereal sign, which is different from your mainstream sign. So do check that out. There's also a birth chart calculator down below for finding your true sidereal moon and your true sidereal ascendant. I do recommend watching all three of these videos, your sun, moon, and ascendant, as it will give you a more holistic and more personalized reading uh, for the year ahead. All right, so coming into the year, we have Saturn and Jupiter, your traditional ruler, going into the 11th house. Now, the 11th house deals with our future visions, which I see it as a great time of starting to build upon your future ideals. What are your future aspirations? And it could be a very constructive year for those developments. It's also sometimes a very uh, group oriented house. So it could deal with friends and community. If there's any intentions you want to set around building your network circles, your community, or any group activities that could be very constructive year. And lastly, it could be around income from your work. Um, I think the past year in particular, there's probably a lot that changed with your perspective about career. Some of you probably did uh, develop a lot in regards to your accomplishments and achievements and career life. Um, but at the very least, your perspective changed on it. So now I think it's a great time of building the income you derive from your career as well for uh, really this year is a great year for that. Now, January 10th, we do have Mars going into uh, Aries, which is gonna lift up a lot of uncertainty collectively. The second half of 2020 with Mars and Pisces has been a very uncertain time in regards to where we're putting our action and energy. But it starts to get a lot clearer now. And I think one of the great areas of starting to put some energy and drive is with your resources. Um, they'll probably be, you know, January 10th, a great time for putting some intentions with building your inner and outer resources, maybe some more abundance in your life. And this has already been a great area of experimenting with anyways. I think these past two years, maybe there's been some ups and downs, a bit of unexpected energy uh, in regards to resources, but it's been good to get outside your comfort zone and try new things there. Could be a great year as it has been for innovative ways of making income, maybe online, maybe technological or in just different ways or multiple ways. Sometimes with Uranus, it's multiple irons in the uh, stove, so to speak. Uh, so really good to, uh, to do that, to experiment with your resources, all getting started January 10th in particular. Now, January 13th, we do have a new moon, which is really finalizing things from 2020 being about uh, achievement and career and public life development. Um, so it's like you're coming into the new year with maybe less of a restriction around that with Saturn now leaving the career sector and just starting to feel a little bit more empowered with accomplishment, with achievement, maybe even your career life. So that's great to further develop and continue to make some transformations and changes there with Pluto still in your 10th. will be for the next few years at least, three or four years. So uh, be open to change there, but nonetheless, definitely a shift of perspective from the career into your future aspirations. Now, January 17th, we have Jupiter, your traditional ruler, squaring up to Uranus. And this is very important because, of course, it's your ruler. But also the whole year, we have Saturn squaring up to Uranus. So it's a, you know, there's this challenging energy about the year. Uh, but it's that we want to challenge ourselves. And it's because these planets are in two very different parts of life. We have all this development going on with your future aspirations and possibly collective matters. And then all this going on with the resources, right? Like we were talking about. So, you know, the, our future aspirations, the things we want for the future don't always link up with resources and income. But if there is a way to kind of integrate those two, either um, linking up future aspirations with resources, that could be fantastic. Either doing things that are group or community oriented, where you guys are kind of pulling together resources or working with earth or nature, or the natural abundances of life, something of this of these lines regarding your material values and your social slash future values, right? Anything that combines those two is great because there's going to be so much emphasis, so much emphasis on both of these areas that the challenge will be how to incorporate both. All right, and January 21st through February 14th, uh, there will be a lot of emphasis on the resource sector. I think that's when things really start to get really activated for the year. 
in regards to building your inner and outer abundance. Uh, but Mercury will be retrograde from January 29th through February 21st in this area. So do be flexible around this area. Uh, good to maybe go back with the budget, uh, the resources, kind of rethink there. Uh, those types of things there and uh, just be flexible around it. But definitely new establishments, new foundations starting to be uh, developed throughout the year. Again, particularly in the context of change, of trying new things, innovation, getting outside your comfort zone uh, when it comes to the material aspects of life. So February 17th, Saturn squares Uranus. And that's, again, all the way through December 24th. So uh, could be a very constructive year there for those areas. All right, so late February going into March, we have Neptune, your modern ruler, leaving Aquarius and going into your sign. So I think this past 10 years, it's been a really good time of going inward, spiritual development, doing things more important on a spiritual level. Uh, but that's important for you always anyways, but that may have been a little bit more challenging with Neptune and Aquarius. Now that Neptune's in your sign, it's like this washing over starts to happen now with you, spiritualization with you. Uh, where your imagination is heightened, if it isn't already enough. Your intuition is heightened. Um, doing things that are more spiritually meaningful is heightened. You'll probably notice more flow in your life because now your ruler is in the ocean where it likes to be. And so, you know, as Pisces the fish, you guys already are about flowing through life. And so uh, there's easier energy to do that now. So very constructive time. I think it's great to still turn inward, but really in the more active sense, in the sense of what are your goals? What are your needs? What do you want to pursue in life? Uh, of course, it needs to be spiritually meaningful to you, but to start to put action and energy towards that is fantastic. The new moon on March 13th will certainly help you kickstart those things going into April. Now, April 18th, Jupiter will go into Aquarius. So in regards to the spiritual developments, um, from April 18th through August 29th, there's expansion in the unconscious realms. So again, heightened intuition, heightened uh, awareness spiritually, um, you know, and it's starting to see that, you know, you're learning a lot about uh, maybe your own intuition, maybe your own imagination, maybe the spiritual dynamics of life even more really gets emphasized. And I think it's great for a long time, spiritual time, spiritual activities for the year, but particularly between April through August. Now, April 21st through May 11th, we do have the sun and the fast movers going into the resource sector. So that I think will be a particularly particularly good time, April and May, for um, the resource development. So again, experiment, try new things there, innovative ways, thinking outside the box when it comes to uh, income, investments, resources. And I think you'll find that to be a great way of working with that energy. And it's all about finding more freedom, right? And sometimes our finances can enslave us and sometimes they can also liberate us. You know, so it's about finding this kind of balance about experimenting with resources. So it does create more financial freedom for you, but it also, you know, helps you release any kinds of uh, burdens or things financially that could be holding us back. All right. So uh, May 26th and June 10th, we do have the eclipses. And this is going to be more subtle energy, but it'll probably become apparent there June and May. Um, and this is going to have to do with finding balance between your more free-spirited life, because I think a lot of you are probably going to be expanding your minds quite a bit this year, uh, maybe in a more free-spirited state, maybe learning about higher knowledge and higher wisdom. And so the balance of that is going to be getting into your practical life. I think it's a great year for exploring new things involving practical knowledge, practical information, maybe developing your communication skills, and all that helps balance out what is this kind of more karmic free-spirited energy that is the theme for the year. So that's June 10th, May 30th. We'll help you find that balance as well as the eclipses on November 19th and December 4th. June 14th, we have the second Saturn square Uranus, which is uh, a nice step in the right direction regarding, again, integrating these two very different parts of life, your future visions and the resources, uh, the collective and the resources. And so things start to become, become a little bit clearer as to how to integrate these two areas. And I think that second half of the year could be super constructive for doing that. August 29th, Jupiter will go back into Capricorn, the future sector and the community sector. So like I said, there'll be lots of opportunities there, but I think particularly between August 29th through December 7th, great for getting out there, groups, workshops, maybe online things, um, anything more collaborative. And then you're just getting a bit of a boost about what's possible for the future. And I think that's great because then Saturn's going to help you build that, build your future aspirations, build your future ideals. 
November 19th, December 4th, we says the eclipses, helping you find that balance between the free-spirited life and the practical life, the abstract knowledge and the practical knowledge. And then December 7th, Jupiter will come back into your 12th house, setting the stage for going into 2022, being about, again, expanding your unconscious, expanding your spiritual body. Uh, really good for, again, getting good rest, good sleep, spiritual time. Um, and just reconnecting with your soul intuitively, imaginatively, spiritually, etc. Something minor I do want to mention, Venus will be retrograde from December 19th into the 2020 new year. And that's going to be in the career sector. So uh, even though there's not that much emph emphasized there for this year, I think it's good to go back and maybe re-examine your career values, maybe career resources, income there with that stuff. And just kind of like go back and redo some things maybe from 2020. Uh, in regards to career and, and achievement development. And then December 24th is the last contact with Saturn square Uranus. So although I think it's still going to be a good year in 2022 to do these future aspirations and collective matters, um, I think there's some solidification of this. Something really gets integrated where um, you are developing your resource life so it has more freedom for you and you are doing these aspirations and collective matters. So again, do give it time because Uranus and Saturn are very slow moving. They're just still at the early phase of these uh, signs, but something does solidify there where you probably have a little bit more freedom with your, with your sense of uh, self-worth, self-value, your resources, and uh, probably some new things getting solidified with maybe groups or your future aspirations. All right, so Pisces, have a fantastic year. Thank you so much for watching. Now, this video does come with a 20% discount on uh, personal readings. Of course, you know, these are very general uh, readings collectively for all Pisces. So for a more specific look, uh, definitely check that out. Links are down below. But again, have a great year. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I'll see you all next time for the next astrology forecast. Take care.